What is going on YouTube? What is going on collectors? Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist. And for today, we're going to be going over in one of the international sets. Actually, two of the international sets. And this comes from Japan. And um, I want to say they're pretty, pretty rare because I don't see them online often. And I do watch uh, eBay for uh, these cards because I still have an uh, incomplete set uh, as far as um, uh, this card set goes. But uh, for the other one, I do have a complete set. So um, uh, these two sets are we're, we're going to be over uh, going over today. <clears throat> so I'll start off with the 19... Uh, they're both 1994. And I'll start off with the smaller ones. So these ones uh, are from Meiji. And Meiji is a food company in um, Japan, at least uh, what I think they are. But um, pretty much these comes in packs of one and a piece of gum. So you have uh, three different styled wrappers. And yeah, so each wrapper has uh, one of these uh, pog slash card that you get and uh, one uh, stick of gum. I'm not really sure how much they cost uh, since, you know, they came out in 1994. And if you guys don't recognize the artwork from these, I uh, got a few examples of them in um, <clears throat> over here. So I have uh, Lady Deathstrike, which, um, of course, the colors are just, just a little bit off, but you could tell it's, it's the same exact art of course from um jim lee we have a uh, beast and we have archangel so i tried to research um some information about this card set slash pog or uh whatever whatever you want to call them but um from what I've seen online, it's been uh, one search popped up and someone was uh, selling a set of 40. So here I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. I have 13 total. And uh, they said there were 40 total for the whole set. So I'm not sure if... Um, that's 40 of these um, cards that looks like they're just plain uh, regular style cards. And then you have these, uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but these are foil. Uh-oh, I'm losing cards. And these are foil, um, if you could see the uh, reflection on them. I don't know if that's a parallel set or are those like Chase, I'm not really sure. And then you also have these gold ones that are, um, it's all gold except for like a white, um, I guess, impression of uh, whatever the art is. So either there's uh, 40 total cards, uh, some foil, some gold foil, and some just normal. Or there's 40 of these uh, style ones that are all normal, uh, all foil, and then all gold. So I'm not sure about that one, but um, if you guys know of or have or seen this set, please um leave leave uh, any information you have about this uh card set because I'm really interested in um finishing it and finding out um more information about it. So let me just put this back before we move on to our mm, next card set. But yeah, um, I really would like uh, to complete it, but they don't pop up often. So, <clears throat> but anyway, we'll move on. Uh, that was our 1994 X Men Meiji Bubblegum uh, cards, and now we'll move on to our X Men 1994 uh, produced by Amara. And I'm not sure what kind of company they are. Probably a card company. Um, I'm not really sure, but here is a box if you purchase. And I can't get any uh, further information because everything is in Japanese. So, But I am aware that there is a version um, where uh, one of these cards is in this packet and they're in a vending machine. 
So uh, you would buy one and you'll get one of these packets. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if they actually have uh, uh, packets you could buy that's in a box. Um, but it does look like you could fit uh, two of these in here. So maybe side by side and then maybe a stack of, uh, I don't know, like say 10. Because um, the, the, this box doesn't look that high. So, But I'm not really sure you guys because uh, I purchased this as, of course, a whole set uh, from someone in Japan. So um, I guess uh, if if you're Japanese or you know uh, any information that it states here besides I mean the obvious that it's a battle diagram uh, just I guess feel free to leave a comment that way we all could uh, know more about this set <clears throat> but anyway I'll go through the base set uh, so this set comes with 36 cards uh, 36 base cards and six uh, chase cards. The chase cards uh, come in one every 18. So at least as far as the vending machine, um, you you get one of these packets and you don't know what's inside. So one every 18 could, uh, could be one of the chase cards. But like every other card sets, um, some chase cards are like more rare than others for some reason, so. But anyway, um, we'll go through the base set and uh, we'll go take a look at like the general formation of uh, each card. So each card is, is slightly smaller than a... So this is a base card from uh, 1992 Ampel X, uh, Uncanny X-Men. And this is about your typical normal, normal size card and uh, thickness too. So. so the Japanese cards are smaller uh i want to say it's almost like a credit card size let me see if i have a card um available <clears throat> so here uh i have a credit card and let's see if so it's also a little bit bigger than a credit card but um it's like halfway between a card and a credit card so but anyway it has uh rounded edges if you guys could see and pretty much you got a logo, X-Men, Rogue, uh, maybe like a description about her or a description, something happening in uh, the movie. Um, if you guys couldn't tell, uh, I'm assuming it looks like it's following off of the animated um, show that was in 1994. So it coincides with the year that the uh, X-Men animated series came out. But uh, it also looks like it's a battle game. So based on these stats, I guess you could battle. And here we could see 1994 Marvel Entertainment Group. Um, uh, this is also produced by uh, Amada, 1994 Amada. So I don't know if it says it anywhere, but as far as when I was uh, looking online, it looks like yeah, they said it was from uh, Amara. So I can't verify that with these cards, but let's check out the 36 card base set. <clears throat> so we got the X-Men, Wolverine. Uh, I didn't notice they were numbered. Uh, yeah. So I guess the numbering system is in um, the middle here where you guys could see it followed by um, some Japanese uh, letters that I have no clue what it says, but anyway, Omega Red, Cable, doesn't look like it's following through the um, the comic storyline, but uh, we do get some art that I've seen before. So um, I can remember this cover, but it's like X-Men, uh, I actually have the comic, I, I just can't remember the exact number, but um, they do look a little bit different from the x-men animated series like i don't know if they changed the artist or or um change anything but it does it doesn't look or feel like the actual uh probably a different art uh person that drew this card so 
but knowing little about these uh this set i just know uh <laughs> pretty much these are the 36 and the six chase cards and that's all i know you guys but um <clears throat> i'll show you guys the chase cards so we got x-men storm and here is the foil um it has the box it looks like the box refracted uh checkered set i don't i don't know what you call it uh prism there's there's so many words to describe this but uh it looks like they all have the same pattern and the back looks exactly the same and i'm not sure what the lettering is on the back um uh, but i'm pretty sure it has something to do with the game so there is storm There is Rogan Jubilee. And I have it arranged a certain way. I'm not sure if that's because it was numbered like that or... Um, I saw somewhere that it was arranged like that, but... Uh, usually if it's not numbered and there's no... Uh, there's no way you could tell like uh, which one comes first or anything then I would definitely uh, arrange it in alphabetical order. But since this is not in alphabetical order, that means uh, I saw I saw, um, I saw saw a checklist for this and I followed that checklist, of course. So anyway, we got a double card here. Another one, um, Cyclops and Jean Grey. Looks like the whole team, uh, eight people total. I wish they did more on uh, Prism cards, but um, what else do I need to tell you guys about this set? Um, I guess I should tell you guys the price. So pretty much I saw this pop up online maybe about a year ago and it was uh, 300 bucks. And I just, I was like, that's a little bit too much, but since you don't really see them pop up often, I was like, ah, why not? It's a complete, complete set and, uh, you know, all, all the chase cards and, um, I've seen like one or two cards pop up. I, I think it was actually, um, I want to say like Beast that showed up for like, uh, I don't know, like 20 bucks. So, but anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about this card set. And um, as always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.